Hey, 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 everybody, the name is JT, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Rocket League, and I'm going to show you a replay of my last match, actually. <laughs> it was so, it was such a piss off, I had to record it and have to make a commentary over it, man, shit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to kind of just, we're going to go through the whole 5 minute and 41 video, and I'm kind of just going to commentate over it, and I'm just going to kind of go over, like, my performance, and my teammates can performance there his name is ninja ofg underscore youtube and you're gonna see uh, an unbelievable way to end this match and to and to take the l here and it's good it, it really it really was painful for me when this happened and honestly i feel like it kind of was a it was an honest mistake but in the moment things like this happen and you kind of get triggered and salty and toxic and this is what happened honestly and we're gonna go through it right now let's do this so obviously he's gonna go first here and he does i didn't know he was gonna go so because some people when you spawn in they just don't move so that's what was my pre-engine or pre-move there so i kind of go for this i clear it out of the goal and it was they they just hit it back right so <clears throat> I, I went for this one and it was a mistake and I shouldn't have went for that and they actually got the goal here But look at my teammate there it, He didn't really he didn't move. Maybe he just he maybe he thought it was It was too quick. He didn't have enough time to, to, to try and save it, but I Feel like he should have went anyways YOLO'd it Nice clear there I go here and I didn't have enough boost. So there's one issue I saw from my end. Well, there was two issues there. I got a big mistake here. Never do that. Go on the wall when they're on the, your left side. It gives them an opening for the net. And if my teammate wasn't there, they probably would have got that goal because of my mistake there. I kind of hit that awkwardly. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But I left an opening there for my teammate to kind of boom it down the net. And it would have went in if, if, the, if the blue team wouldn't have actually saved it there. They did a pretty good job at saving that potential goal. I'm kind of just right here. You can tell I'm just kind of seeing what my teammate's doing. Letting him have the playing field, basically. And he got a goal there, so... That was good for him. I let him knew in game or let him know in game by up up on the D-pad. <laughs> I think that's what it is saying nice shot. And I try to go for this one and man, that was close. And the rebound comes and it also fails as well. And they actually managed to get that out of their net somehow, which is crazy. Good defense on the blue team. My teammate just didn't know what he did there. Oh, I totally failed that. See, he passed it to me there, and I totally failed somehow. Sometimes those shots, you think that they're so easy to get, and then you just totally miss them. I don't understand Rocket League sometimes <laughs> when that happens. But yeah. Once again, I go for an aerial, or I go for like an air shot, and it didn't really land good, because I think I got bumped from the enemy team. I centered the ball there pretty quickly, but the blue team was really, really responsive to get that, to just hit that and not let any time there for my teammate to come and rebound it. He tried passing it there to me. Blue team was there to save it. He tried again, and I just couldn't get a shot there. As you can tell, the blue team was pretty good at, at kind of defending their, their net. Gotta give him credit. They were doing a pretty good job. There was an easy shot there, dude, and I totally flunked that. So there was there was like two potential goals that I could have made if I would have had a little bit more boost and a little bit better angle, you know? This guy booms the ball right up high. I don't have any boost, and I still try to go for it. You see that you guys see my issue? Because I'm already noticing it. I'm going for shots that I, I can't make because I don't have any damn boost, bro. No freaking boost, man. I got to pay attention. <laughs> Booms it back to net. 
I, oh man, see, and there, I, there I go again. Trying to go for, trying to clear when I didn't have to there. So, so far, just a lot of my issues. <laughs> so far, this is just a lot of my problems with being a teammate. We, and here's, there's the first indication of me getting irritated. He, he bumped me and then took the shot that I was going to go for, that I was in a perfect position for. That kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and I let him knew that in chat. I said, don't bump me again, fool. And, yeah. And I don't know why what his problem was there. Like, if he saw me boosting to a, t towards the ball... Like, unless it was in, like, a goal in type of, like, a defending type scenario, there's no need for both of us to, to boost in that direction. Once again, man, why was he trying to hit the ball towards our net? Like, that's, uh, you always want to hit it away from the net, man. So, I don't know what you guys think of that, but he bumped me again. Luckily, the ball didn't go in our net because of in the, because of result of that but oh man if i would have hit that a little bit better it would have went in i predicted this guy was going to do that so i kind of did a backflip there and what what a weird defense <laughs> that was so weird but it, it worked i don't know what happened there something's oh yeah overtime so here is where the part that pissed me off happens watch this guys it's really quick so pay attention I boom it here towards the blue net, right? And my teammate booms it back at our net and it goes in. It went in like, oh man, they won this because of that. They won this because of that. Oh my God, this re that really got me good, man. That really, I was so mad, guys, that I legit blocked him in game. I got so salty and toxic because of bad team because of him, him him doing that. I blocked the dude. Even when the prior matches, like like the first one to two goals, was my I, it was more me making mistakes. But he made three mistakes. He bumped me twice, and he own gold on the overtime. I missed two aerial shots. And let one 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 goal in by going too soon and messing it up. So, man, I guess the the lesson learned here, man, is just be patient, right? Make sure you monitor your boost and time your shots perfectly, because you can make mistakes that can like totally ruin the game. You know what I mean? I wish more golds had kind of my my like thinking of being a good teammate in terms of just like if you see your teammate going for the ball and he's in a good position and let him go for it man like let him try to hit it if he hits it and it doesn't go in and then you you got to rebuttal that you got to go in for the rebound if you if you're clear and it's safe to do so <clears throat> do it you know there's so many cases where my teammates just ball chase and they're playing a 1v1 and they're not even they don't even care about your 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 teammate at all. And this is where the majority of my D rankings happen. So yeah, I just I just wish like some other content creator out there with like more views and more subscribers would make a video on like just like a having a te just having like a team player perspective of going into every competitive match. I know there are some people out there that are have common sense and there's others that just don't know that yet and they just haven't learned that yet they just want to get they want to be the MVP no matter what and they will sacrifice your shots just for them to get a goal and get clips or whatever but yeah that's just I guess that's just Rocket League I gotta deal with it if I I can avoid it there's only one way to avoid that and that is to get a pre-made party but the thing is with that it's a double-edged sword. You may get higher ranks, but once you want to play solo, you'll you'll derank for sure, because the matchmaking in this game is horrendous, 
and if you're plat or diamond or whatever you get matched with unranked players that could be that could have a skill of a bronze while you are platinum or diamond or whatever which is i think that system is kind of garbage because it's just like especially for solo queuers like me that mainly just queue solo it's going to be like really hard to like rank up because you're going to get matched with unranked bots yeah you may get matched with an unranked um let's say diamond or gc or or whatever but that's very rare like i haven't ran like one in 20 matches maybe i run into like a half decent player that knows what they're doing most of the time it's bots and i think psionics is that how you say the 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 name if not then whatever deal with it but I feel psionics can improve the matchmaking of competitive, at least the competitive playlist. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on this, on this whole, like, if, if you liked me kind of commentating a replay, if you liked me going over everything and kind of narrating each, me and my teammate in, in our performance, what we did right, what we did wrong, et cetera, et cetera. This is my first video, so it's going to be kind of all over the place. If, uh, if you guys like it, smash the like button, subscribe. It will indicate to me that I'll do more of these and I'll get better at commentating <laughs> the more I do, the more I do them. So yeah. Anyways, guys, peace, peace. Have a good day, night, wherever you are in the world.